I have to imagine, John, that they have uh, recorded this in some fashion, uh, that there is some sort of documentary record of the body. Will that satisfy people who harbor mm. those kinds of theories? It may not. It actually may not, but uh, this is the course the U.S. government apparently is Because when Uday and Kuse was killed, they were, the, the bodies were, were displayed, so there's been a deliberate change of tactics, or, or, or if, if you like, in this case. Uh, apparently so. Mm -hmm. I wish we had more detail to bring you, John, but that's the very bare, okay. uh, bare facts that they're giving us at this point in time. It, it is, it is a, a truly surprising turn of events. Jean Meserv, thank you so much. You bet. It most certainly is. And joining me now on the phone is someone we all remember from the successful overthrow of the Taliban in Kabul back in 2001. He is Dr. Abdullah Abdullah, one of the anti-Taliban commanders who years later was also a candidate for president of Afghanistan. We are not disclosing Dr. Abdullah's current location at this time for obvious reasons. But uh, doctor, I wonder if I could just uh, get you to respond to that news that we just heard from Jean Reserve, quite shocking in fact. Uh, of course the world just absorbing this information that Osama bin Laden has been killed, that he is dead, but now we're hearing his body has already been buried at sea. What's your response to that? Uh, I, my response would draw that he, on the uh, occasion of uh, him being killed, uh, what happened to the body will matter less, though it might lead, as it was mentioned earlier, to some conspiracy theories, conspiracy theories which have been around all along that we that are aware of it. But uh, the impact of uh, what has happened uh, you know, will be far-reaching beyond what, is, what already has been mentioned in regards to Afghanistan, in regards to the region, in regards to the war against terrorism throughout the world. But do you think uh, that this could uh, raise problems as far as the, the U.S. sort of telling the world that uh, indeed Osama bin Laden is dead, but a lot of people saying we, we want proof of that. We want to be sure that that is most certainly the case. <laughs> All right. Uh, clearly, we have lost our connection there with Dr. Abdullah. Abdullah, we will try to reconnect uh, with him, John. But those crowds still remain outside the uh, White House in Washington, D.C. There was an unexpected surge of revelers there, a news that Osama bin Laden had been killed. Correspondent Joe Johns is there. He joins us once again live. And, uh, Joe, it's getting quite late there, but uh, the crowd's not, not going anywhere.